at some point or the other, you or someone you know would have advertised somewhere that you have been hacked. With the advent of internet and its applications, security in this huge network became a major issue. Unlike other technology, the internet stakeholders are not only businesses and agencies, but also the general public. Hackers try to exploit vulnerabilities that stem from either human or system error for their advantage. But not all hacking is bad. With great power comes great responsibility. And that's the philosophy ethical hackers follow. But what does it mean to get involved in white hat hacking? Before we dive into that, don't forget to subscribe to the Great Learning channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications. My name is Ritika and this is Ethical Hacking Explained. At some point or the other, you or someone you know would have advertised somewhere that you have been hacked and any action that is being performed through the account is not actually you or this person. It's become a common enough word because it has become a common enough problem. Pop culture and media has portrayed hackers to be loners in hoodies typing away furiously on a black screen with green characters. But the reality is so far from this imagery. It could be just a jealous ex or a disgruntled employee with some knowledge of an app's code or structure. To solve the problem of these cybersecurity issues, organizations adopt a simple attitude. It takes one to know one. If an organization wants its infrastructure and services to be secure, any cybersecurity expert would suggest to put it to the test against hackers to test them by attacking them. This process is famously known as penetration testing, whose main objective is to find vulnerabilities and fix them before malicious hackers can exploit them. Penetration testing is only one method of ethical hacking and every such tester knows various security analysis tools must be used throughout the entire software development phase. Ethical hackers check for key vulnerabilities in parts of the system like authentication protocols, possible access points, data sharing protocols and other more complicated metrics that could expose a company to possible attacks. To be a hacker, one must have a sense of mischief. But what differentiate white hat hackers from black hat hackers are motivation and consequently consent. White hat hackers must be able to think like their black hat counterparts, much like policemen need to be able to think like criminals that they apprehend. Many companies understand this and try to use it to their benefit. Google often holds hacking competitions as part of its process to find vulnerabilities in their products and offers large sums of money and job opportunities even to those who succeed to find their faults. Many such tech giants sometimes openly challenge programmers to find weaknesses in their code, and if they do, they are compensated. This allows for a different breed of hackers to spring up, grey hat hackers. Contrasting white hat hackers, grey hat hackers don't have consent or don't ask for permission to penetrate systems and networks. But grey hats are also different from black hats in that their motivation is not malicious but rather for fun and usually inform the owner about any threats that they find. But this is still considered illegal by most but it depends on the institution at times. You could say that it falls in the grey area. Cybersecurity is a war that will go on as long as there's someone to exploit the opportunities they find for their own selfish malevolent purposes. At this point, the good guys are outnumbered. So if you're considering learning how to hack ethically and help organizations, you're on the right path. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with anyone you think might like it, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get a notification when we upload new videos. Remember, the only learning that matters is great learning. See you next time. Thank you.